Hey everybody, it's Andrew Pardew, um, owner of AP Fitness, my online contest prep and uh, personal training company. And uh, more importantly than that, a uh, pretty good friend of Greg's. I've known Greg now for probably four or five years, something like that, I would have to look. But uh, it's just been several years now we met at, um, coincidentally, a bodybuilding show, um, one of the earlier ANBF shows when uh, the organization had just recently started. And uh, I just happen to be judging that show. Um, I used to judge a little bit more now than now that my coaching has grown. Uh, I don't really judge as much as I used to for some obvious reasons, uh, just so there's not a conflict of interest. But um, earlier, I did a little bit more more judging, and I think that's where we actually first met. We were both um, judging a show in um, maybe like South Carolina or something like that, and uh, got to know each other a little bit at the show, and and, and got along well, obviously, and uh, stayed in contact since then. And uh, we, we've both uh, done a lot of things since then and, and had a lot of uh, life changes, mostly for the better. And uh, it's been pretty cool following each other and just seeing how we've both kind of evolved as, as people and, and through our careers and, and things like that and some moves that we've both made. And uh, through all of that, um, I was consistently growing my coaching business uh, since I was in college. Uh, eventually went to do that full time as things kind of picked up and and I felt more and more comfortable with with that being the path that I took um, Greg himself had some some career changes for the better that that allowed him to really pursue what he was passionate about and, and growing more and more in love with and um, through all of that Greg competed um, I guess around the time that we had first met possibly was was when he last competed uh, it's been a few years now um, since then Reverse dieted super duper well um, had an amazing off season that that I wasn't a part of I was just following along like everyone else and um, Luckily, I'm very honored to have been able to help with this contest prep. So uh, he reached out to me uh, several months ago Saying that he was considering doing a show um, You know, we talked about what possible shows we might be looking at and things like that and uh, mentioned that he wanted me to to help with the prep obviously being a, a prep coach that I am and um that was pretty awesome for me, uh, mostly because I, I've known Greg for a while. I've known his background in competing and everything, and, and uh, you know he obviously knows his stuff. Uh, he's a really high-level bodybuilder. I mean, the guy looks crazy um, on and off stage. And uh, I knew he knew his stuff, and he could have very well taken care of his prep himself and done a really good job. So for him to reach out and, and uh, ask me to be a, a second pair of eyes and, and to kind of pick my brain, uh, you know, definitely meant a lot. So I was honored to help, and uh, it's been a really fun season. Capped off by, by the time you see this video, capped off by a, a first place pro win in uh, the ANBF Nationals, which was his first show of the season. Uh, depending on when you guys see this video, um, there's potential that there might be another one or two shows in the mix before he uh, officially wraps up his season. But um, either way, that, that first and potentially only, potentially not show, um, the guy looked incredible and, and it was an absolute blast to be a part of the prep in any way and in, in my small way to, to help out with with some of the training aspects but mostly uh, nutrition and cardio adjustments um, so that was a lot of fun but there was a few things that I wrote down that I wanted to kind of mention um, I kind of had free reign on this video Greg just mentioned me doing maybe a quick video which I appreciate uh, so I thought I wanted to mention a couple things that were good for me to take away from this prep and things that just continue adding to, to my experience that I can use with other athletes and, and use as an example for other athletes, but also something that uh, I think people watching this that aren't looking for a coach or something like that, but maybe doing your own programming or just considering things for the future. Um, some things that we did together that really helped and then um, even before that, things Greg did on his own um, obviously, like I said, he's, he's very experienced, very knowledgeable. Um, he did some things on his own in the off season that really set him up to where um, we still had to work. You know, I had to put in, put in work on the programming side. He had to put in work in the gym. But uh, for all intents and purposes, we were able to cruise a lot more smoothly into this first show than we would have otherwise. So I just wanted to mention a couple of things uh, that I think really stood out and made this prep as successful as it's been so far. Um, and the first one would be, I mentioned his off-season. This guy reverse dieted um, like a champ. Um, literally like a champ because he just won his pro show. But uh, the guy from his very last show in his previous season, which was a few years ago, um, very steadily, and we can get into reverse dieting. I'm, I'm sure Greg will talk about this in other videos. But um, being very strategic in how he added calories back in and lowered his cardio after his prep, um, he was really able to 
gain weight in a smart way and not put on a bunch of extra body fat that wasn't really going to do him any good and just cause him to have to lose that later. Um, he was very, very strategic with how he came out of his season. So that allowed him to, to run pretty much his entire offseason in, in a very good conditioning. I mean, the, the guy could go to the beach at any point in the offseason and be comfortable in his own skin, whereas some people will blow up after the show, um, either consciously or, or just by not knowing any better. And then their next season's uh, a lot tougher because now they have more weight to put on. Um, so the fact that Greg was able to add food back in uh, enough to, to obviously support his training and recovery and for him to feel good and not be hungry all the time, but still kind of keep tabs on his overall body composition and, and not letting himself get too heavy. Um, that really set him up because he, when we started prep, was in really good shape. Um, I can't remember off the top of my head how much weight we had to lose, but um, I think it was somewhere around 15-ish pounds. Uh, I know it wasn't more than 20 if, if my memory serves me, but um, we he set himself up to, to hit the ground running with prep, and we weren't having to lose a ton of body fat that he put on in the offseason just for the sake of putting it on or being able to eat. Um, like a pig the entire off season. So uh, being very strategic in how he came out of his last season really, really set him up for this season. And it, that's something that um, my research in college um, was on the effects of contest prep on metabolism and hormones and, and different markers for, for athletic performance and health and how long those take to return after dieting and, and things like that. So my research was on this sort of topic already and it's something that I really try to talk about with my athletes but sometimes it's hard to get people to buy into the research before they really see real world examples and this was an incredible example of just that being very smart post show and, and being very strategic with your reverse diet and giving yourself plenty of time between seasons so you can really bounce back and, and be in a really good spot so the fact that Greg did that alone really made this prep as it was a very huge factor in it being as, as successful as it was. Um, so me as a coach, being able to to start prep working with this guy that's already put in tons of time building muscle. He's put in a very smart reverse diet since his last show, a really conservative, productive off season. Um, that's like a kid in a candy store because you get to work with, with someone that's really, really ready to hit the ground running and you don't have to do a lot of uh, cleanup work before prep actually starts. So that's something to, to really keep in mind whether you're a bodybuilder, bikini athlete, or really even just someone dieting and not really sure how you should approach things once you're done losing weight and, and kind of going into that next stage. Um, the other thing was, was again, like I mentioned, Greg could have done this himself and done really well, um, but it definitely serves as an example of um, pretty much everybody can benefit from having a second eye. Like nobody knows everything and um, we can all get better from working with other people that we respect and, and trust and are obviously credible in, in what they're doing. Um, so Greg coming to me to work with me um, is just a really good example of that. Like whenever I do a prep again, I'll probably run most of my prep on my own. But uh, especially in the latter stages, I'll definitely be reaching out to someone that I trust um, just to kind of help me. Because especially during prep, you, you've got your regular life to worry about and then prep and then you're, you're running on lower calories and you can kind of get prep brain and you can kind of get in your own head and, and not really see yourself accurately and, and objectively as you could otherwise. So um, getting that second pair of eyes really helps just from the mind game perspective and really getting a second pair of eyes literally to look at you and tell you how you're looking. Um, but also it was really cool because during the prep, us both being coaches and, and working with other athletes and us both continuing to, to try to grow our own um, <laughs> amount of tools in our toolbox to use for other people and ourselves. Uh, there were several times where it was really the entire prep. It was never me telling him what to do and him saying, okay, and going with it. It was us really working together and bouncing things off of each other and him telling me about previous experiences he's had in preps and things he's noticed and me taking that into account and kind of giving him my thoughts on what, what if we do this or what if we tweak this based off of how you've adjusted to it in previous preps, maybe we can do this a little bit differently. And here's something I've done with some athletes in a similar position, it may, it may help you. And uh, there was just a really good back and forth that kind of covers two points that I was gonna mention. Um, a, it's nice to have that second pair of eyes because someone may have different experiences than you or have tried something a little differently that may come in handy for you that you may, may not have even considered or, or, or something like that. Um, but then also, 
on top of that, having that communication in the first place. So Greg and I knew each other for a long time, and um, whether you hire a coach or, or, or not, just in general, you may not always have those several years of getting to know someone before you can choose to collaborate with them in, in whatever aspect that you can collaborate with them. But having started with a, mutual, a very mutual respect and, and on a really good level of communication made the prep a lot easier, I think, for both sides as well, because there were times where we both had questions for each other. Okay, like, what, what about we do this? Like, maybe this isn't the best idea. Maybe I'm a little hesitant to do this or that. Um, there was a little bit of that both ways, but it was never us second guessing each other um, or talking to each other like we didn't know what the, we were talking about. It was um, just that. It was very good communication, very good mutual respect that allowed us to bounce a lot of ideas off of each other be very honest with each other without coming across as jerks or you know we knew where each other was coming from and in various comments and and feedback and uh that made prep not only easier but just a lot more enjoyable because you of course don't want to be working with someone that you're going to butt heads with the entire time and you know that's that's going to overshadow a lot of the good stuff during prep most of the time so uh being able to kind of feel things out again is, is maybe a takeaway for some people that are considering that next step of, of doing their first prep or whatnot um really feeling things out and, and, and being able to build a rapport with your coach or trainer or whatever you want to work with, even if it's non-bodybuilding related, um, that's been a really good example this prep has of how helpful it can be to have that mutual respect and a really good line of communication uh, before the prep even starts because uh, it, it really was, as cliche and cheesy as it is, it was very much a team effort and it was very much us building off each other and, and there's things that we've both picked up that we're going to be able to use for ourselves in the future and even like for other clients that we're working with that we may not have picked up if we didn't work together and if we didn't have that respect for each other to to keep our eyes open and be willing to to listen to the other's opinions so that was that was really cool and, and like I said it made this prep very enjoyable and uh if I can say so myself the prep went pretty damn well so um I have no complaints on that as well um the only other thing I was going to mention, and I was going to try to keep this under 15, so we'll see, but um, being ready early, again, Greg went into this very smoothly and in a super duper good spot. So we were able to, <laughs> ironically, we were worried a little bit at first that we weren't going to be ready in time, but uh, he had set himself up so well to begin with that things really got rolling from the get-go. So that allowed us to have, honestly, probably two or three weeks of extra time where Greg could then we could start m manipulating his refeeds and, and doing some different things with water levels and sodium and and really getting a feel for how different amount of carbs affect him even the day two three days after we do refeeds so uh, you know we went from like a one day one refeed day per week to eventually two um, there were times where we actually added in we had three refeed days back to back to back which really gave us a lot of data to use for peak week. So we were able to see kind of how he tolerated certain amount of carbs and, and certain styles of refeeds and things like that. And then when it came to peak week, um, which he'll probably talk about in a separate video, but it was funny because uh, uh, we were both a little hesitant about different things. So we we're definitely, you know, we we're, we we're wanting to make sure we don't screw anything up that close to, to show day because he was looking amazing. Uh, and most of peak week is just not screwing something up more so than doing anything amazing. But um, by, time, by the time peak week came around, we had a really good idea of what ranges of things we should probably stick to and keep an eye on that's probably going to help him look the best because we had extra time earlier in prep to get a feel for it and try a few things out and, and experiment a little bit with his refeeds and things. So um, everyone wants to try to be ready in eight weeks or 12 weeks and, and A, most of the time more more times than not, people have more fat to lose than they think. So they don't really give themselves enough time in the beginning. But um, trying to start prep just short enough to where you can just be ready in time and then do the show, that way you don't have to diet any more than you have to, um, can kind of leave a little bit on the table as far as how well you're gonna actually do. Um, giving yourself a few extra weeks on top of what you're confident that you need at a minimum uh, can really go a long way. Having time to do some extra diet breaks or refeeds or just running completely mock peak weeks ahead of time, um, that can really help pretty much any division of competitor out, but especially like in bodybuilding when you're having to get very, very lean and very full and it's a little bit more on the extreme of like how hard you have to diet and things like that in the grand scheme of the, the 
divisions that compete. Um, that was another thing that was really huge and really gave me a lot of data to consider whenever it came time to start setting up his peak week. And then as peak week progressed, we could fall back on some of that data that we collected earlier and really fine tune and tweak things along the way to make sure he looked as good as possible. So um, not only did he set himself up really, really well in the off season, um, to just be able to come in as lean and as full and, and to have added the size that he did, um, but he also allowed himself a lot more easier time having those extra weeks to really kind of play around with things and, and see how it worked out. So um, hopefully that's um, helpful to some people. Again, uh, depending on who's watching this and, and what your goals are and things like that, um, even if you're not competing in a, a bodybuilding show, a lot of those things I think uh, can translate into if you're just hiring a personal trainer that might not be you know, a prep coach might just be a, your personal trainer and, and working and communicating with them and giving yourself enough time for your weight loss goal or, or whatever. But uh, a lot of those things I think can, can translate to a lot of things outside of bodybuilding contest prep. But um, luckily for us, it, it really paid off with this prep and it was a lot of fun. So um, we'll see if there's more shows in the future of this season or not. But uh, either way, if he wrapped up the season right now, I couldn't be happier and, and uh, honestly couldn't be more honored to be a part of it. So I... Greg, whenever you watch this and edit it and upload it, uh, I definitely appreciate it, man. And, and I probably haven't said it enough, but um, it's been a, a fun season. And um, again, for him to, to respect me enough and, and for us to have that mutual respect for him to reach out in the first place, uh, definitely means a lot as AP Fitness continues to grow. And, and uh, I definitely try to always do it the right way and, and, and really have a kind of a positive impact on things and, and uh, make sure the the business side of it doesn't overshadow the, the personal side of it. So uh, it's been a lot of fun and, and I appreciate you guys watching this. If you stayed through the full 17 minutes so far, um, I definitely appreciate it. And hopefully it's, it's helpful to a few people and um, I can share my, my Instagram and, and emails and stuff of like that. Maybe at the bottom of this, Greg can put it uh, in case you guys have any like questions in particular for me. Uh, but Greg is going to be able to, to answer most of that if you just leave comments below or whatnot. But uh, again, I appreciate you guys. And if you ever do have questions or, or there's anything I can help with, uh, definitely feel free to reach out. And uh, thanks again, Greg. And uh, we'll see what the future holds. Thanks, guys.